welcome back to the channel now in this video i want to show you how you can add a blog to an existing website now for example this website of ours it doesn't have a blog but we can easily add a blog whereby we can always write updates about whatever is happening on our store or in case we have promotions or basically sharing with our audience so to do that we are simply going to go back to our dashboard of our website and we are going to simply just come over here to pages and we're going to add a new page but before you go to add a new page let's look into how many pages or what pages we're having in our website so we're having the about page cart checkout contact home account and all these other pages so we don't have a blog page specifically to do that we are going to say add a new page and here we'll name our page called blog so we simply now say publish and publish so this is going to be our archives page for all the blog posts that we publish on our website so now we're going to exit this and we go back to the dashboard and we're going to come down below here to settings and we go to reading which are the reading settings and under the reading settings we're going to go to this section over here called post page and that should be our blog page and now we're going to simply say save changes now after saving changes we're going to simply come up over here to posts and we can view all our existing posts at the moment we don't have any post apart from the dummy post that automatically comes once you install wordpress what i'm going to do is simply say add a new post this is a story that we are going to be writing as our very first story on our website we're going to add a title so i'll add here my title and now i'm going to add content to my blog post i can link up some things for example anything about coronavirus i can just select this come and say coronavirus and we get any information that is regarding to coronavirus so let me say cases about coronavirus we can get some statistics over here we can copy the link come back to our content and we can add a link to that specific url and we can say open in a new tab you can add a new paragraph or you can add a new title for example we can say over here this black friday is different and we can say this is going to be a heading and maybe which kind of heading we can give it a specific size of the heading so to do that we simply click over here and we're going to say it's going to be a heading so we can choose it's going to be a heading 2 heading 3 heading 1 so i, I prefer to leave it to be a heading 2 and that's how it looks like we can bold some sections of this say bold this and we can even add some images to our content or even delete some blocks that you don't want for example by selecting that block simply just say remove block that means you'll have deleted that and in case we want to add images into our content you simply just come over here and add a new and maybe we are selecting an image block so we look up for an image block select that now we can choose from the media library from the images that we already have and we can say this is the image we want to use for that section and we can even say use the whole of the size the width of that section we can add a caption some of the products that will be on sale okay now we have added an image we can also add a featured image for our blog post so simply just click over here on settings and we are going to come over here to the document and we are going to simply scroll down below here and add a featured image select that over here and now we can add a featured image that is going to appear as the one that is going to be the very first image someone sees before they actually open the blog post so i'll simply just use that as our featured image i can add our blog post to a specific category and in this case we don't have any categories i can create a new category and say sell or black friday so for any content that is related to black friday 
I can just simply categorize it under Black Friday. Then I'll say add a new category, then it will be added. And now I have the option to choose whether it goes under uncategorized or under Black Friday. I can as well add another one. So I can say a category called handmade or a category called firing. So you can say add a new category. So all posts that will be related to firing technique in our e-commerce website or whatever category you choose to create will be falling under that category that you choose to categorize it. So in this case, I'll leave this to uh, Black Friday. And then we can also add an excerpt, like a brief description of this post. So I'll just come back over here, add my excerpt text. Before someone opens up this blog post, this is what they'll be reading. Then discussion means we can allow comments and also allow pingbacks and trackbacks. I prefer to disable pingbacks and trackbacks. And for now, that's all. What we now need to do is very simple, is to basically publish our blog post. So we have looked into how we can add links. We've added an image into our blog post, added some title, seen how we can delete blocks, how we can add a paragraph or a new block for paragraph, and we are good to go. So what I need to do is publish, publish. Once you're done publishing, it means that now that blog post will be available on your website. But now when we go to our website, when I reload, there is no way how I can access my blog post because there is nothing like blog post section here. So what you have to do is simply come back here to your dashboard. I'm going to exit now to the dashboard from my blog post section. And I'm going to come down below here to appearance, menus, under menus. I'm going to select my main menu, open it, and I'll add our blog post page. So I'll come over here to pages and I'll select our blog post as our post page, which we already set up. And I will simply add it to my main menu. I'll reposition it to be after the shop page and I'll save changes. Now, when I come back to my home page, I reload this. You realize that we have a page here called blog. Now it's here. So when I click over here on the blog page, it should definitely take me to a page that looks exactly like this. See how now this looks like? We have our featured image, the title, and now the exact text that is appearing over here. So when I open this up, it takes me straight to a blog post that I wrote, including all the content and the images it looks pretty fine. So how do we edit what is displayed over here, whether the comments, the category, and the administrator? And how do we even make changes to this name? Instead of it being admin.go, we use the actual names of who they actually published that content. So first thing, we're going to change the user admin. So we're going to come back here to our dashboard, straight go to users, and profile. So now this will open up the profile of the author or the person who has published that blog post. So here we have the options to enter the first name and the last name. So my name is Hamza and my other name is Kwema. And now I can use to display my name publicly as this or as Hamza Kwema. And once that is done, I can simply now save changes. So I update my profile. Now when I head back to my blog post, observe this section, I'm going to reload. Boom, now my author name has changed. But also, how do you make changes to what picture appears as your profile picture or as the author picture? So what you do, you click over here. This text takes you to a website called Gravata where you can simply sign in. Once you sign in over here, you are able to upload a picture that will be displayed on the entire internet, wherever you comment or even on your WordPress website. So the first thing that you will have to do is, first of all, adding your email address, and then you also have to add a picture. So what I'm going to do here, I make sure I'm going to add the email address that is displayed as for my account, which is admin.go.wo. So I'll copy this, I'll add that email address, and then I'll go check my account to verify my email address. So I'll come over here. I'll log into my 
email address or my admin email address and now i've already received a verification email to verify my email with gravata once i open it up i can simply click over here to verify my email once the email is verified it will take me straight to this page over here now i'll select that email address and i'll assign a picture to that email address so i'll say this is the picture i want to use for that email address and then i confirm and once i confirm it means that this image is now attached to this email address and whenever i'll comment using this email address this picture will be attached to that email address now when i come back over here to my gravatar account i'll simply come back here to my gravatar and you realize that of course just the email and the image has been attached i'll close this up i come back to my wordpress website and i'm going to reload this section it may take some minutes to show up over here or to reflect over here but after some time it will show up over here and whenever you'll be commenting or whenever you write a blog post your image that is attached to your email whenever you comment somewhere it will show up as the gravatar how do you rearrange this section of whether the comment comes first or the category or the author comes first so when you head back to your dashboard appearance customize under customize we have something called the blog and we have the blog archive the blog archive page is this actual page that will list your blogs as you publish them so we have the first one here and we have the second one now when we publish another one it will just be at the top of this other one so here you can rearrange and say you want the featured image to come first and then the title and blog meta to come second featured image the title and the blog meta to come second that is what you're seeing there so you can easily rearrange this and you can choose to have the comments come or show up last so we have the post author first and category second and the comments come last so when i publish this you realize that the title is up and the image is coming next and then the name is going to come first over here so when i reload boom we have this coming up and the name coming up first and then we have the featured image and then this intro text showing up here since i'm using the astra theme also, we can make changes on the size of the title and uh, we can simply just come over here and change this over here, the size and the post title. Now, how about for the single post? The single post is the actual blog post. When I open this up over here, I'll be opening up the single blog post. So this is a single blog post. Now here I can choose how my featured image and how my content is going to appear like i can still interchange this and i have the title and the blog meta come first which is this title and the blog meta coming first and then the comments i can still rearrange this so i can have the comments come last so author first category and then the comments you can even add the publish date and show people that this blog post was actually published on this day that is actually very crucial so when i now update this single blog post you realize that we have a date showing up which is 29th of october and the author is this person over there so how do you manage what size of your sidebar is going to be for your blog post pages so you can simply just do that come over here under the sidebar and for the blog post, you can use the default size of the sidebar. You can decide to have a no sidebar, or you can simply just say left sidebar or right sidebar. So if you choose, for example, no sidebar, and you update, it means that your single blog post pages will not have a sidebar. So it will take up the whole width of the page. Something like this. It doesn't look any tidy. So I simply just come back over here. I'll just choose to use the default sidebar. And the default sidebar is the right sidebar which appears over here how do we edit the right sidebar or what appears in the right sidebar first of all we can choose and say that the sidebar width is going to be only 25 percent of the page by simply changing the figures over here and since the right sidebar is our default sidebar 
now we can go and make changes on what appears on the default sidebar which is the right sidebar we have reduced the size of the sidebar now let's go edit what content appears on the right sidebar so i'm going to simply exit the customizer and i'm going to come to appearance come to widgets and when i'm into the widgets area we have the default sidebar which is the main sidebar and this main sidebar has a search the recent post the recent comments archives and comments which is a sum over here recent post recent comments archives and categories which is the same thing over here so we can even add more things to this sidebar for example we can add a product widget to the main sidebar and we can decide to show only five products and we may want this to be let me say the second widget now that is saved once that is saved now we can come back over here and now we can reload and you will see that we have a product widget showing up over here that's it so in a nutshell that's how you can add a blog to an existing wordpress website the simplest way possible in case you have any comments or questions regarding this tutorial please let me down in the comment box below otherwise if you like the video please give it a like and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because that actually helps me out. Have a good time and goodbye.